welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Kendra Michelle and I make augmented reality filters for social media so um, to get started today's tutorial is actually going to be a lens studio focus tutorial and um, yeah if you don't know what lens studio is lens studio is a really powerful application that was made with artists and developers in mind in order to help them cultivate these amazing augmented reality experiences that we see millions and hundreds of snapshotters use every single day. So um, in particular, today I'm going to be going over their brand new 3D makeup helper block. Um, it's an asset that can be found in the asset library. So as long as you're up to date with the latest software, um, you should be good to go. And that's actually how I achieved this. This is not real makeup. And this is all virtual. This is how I achieve this natural looking um, tan, smoky look. And you can't see it that well on here, but I promise you it looks amazing. And um, contour and lip combination. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in how I got this look, <laughs> um, keep on watching. So I'm basically going to be showing you how to incorporate this new asset into any pre-existing projects that you have um, or you can even start like this from scratch. It's up to you. Um, this is a project that I've been working on and it just has color correcting. It doesn't have any makeup or anything. It just has color correcting and um, some grain. And yeah, I'm just going to add some makeup. So first things first, sorry. First thing that you want to do is you want to go into your asset library at the top. Once you click on it, you're going to see that right under featured and it'll say new with a big little uh, notification. Um, so it's going to be the 3D Makeup Helper by Snap Inc. And you're just going to want to go ahead and import that into your project. Um, once it says success, it's been imported. Once you load the spec up, you'll see that on the bottom left in your resources panel, um, you'll have a folder that says 3D makeup resources and then your 3D makeup helper um, and it says put under main camera. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to drag this into our main camera and immediately you'll see them on my face. So um, inside the folder, you're actually just going to have all the textures that you need for this block, um, your face mesh, your materials. So if we open this up, you're, the first thing you actually see is your retouching feature, which um, just allows you to incorporate soft skin, teeth whitening, and eye sharpening, and eye whitening. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to leave everything as it is. Well, actually, no. I'm going to bring down the eye sharpening and the eye whitening and the teeth whitening and probably the skin retouch to 40. Um, yeah, that, that looks fine. Okay, so now this is where the important stuff is. Um, so your head binding is going to have the two techniques that Snapchat Steam has come up with um, to put makeup on your face. Um, and these are relatively simple and a really great introduction into um kind of beauty virtual beauty filters and and that stuff um so snapchat has given you two different ways of putting the makeup in the filters um the first way is makeup with masks so this is going to act like an alpha and um i'll show you what that means in just a minute in just a moment so first things first you're going to go into your inspector panel and you want to right click select you can oops on the material which is makeup color setup and um, you can also access this through your resources panel on the bottom left um, and if you look in your inspector panel you're gonna see all the colors so it, this the way that it does is it takes from the alpha and it just updates the color so it replaces the color to whatever color you want to whatever opacity you want so if we see the first category is blush if I right click select on the blush and I bring up my preview, you'll see that it's um, the makeup is drawn in white on a black background, and that's how you're able to manipulate the colors. So if I go back um, and put this down, and now we're able to customize it the, to whatever color we want. So I really like the eyeshadow. Um, I like the blush. This one comes with blush, lip color, lip highlight, eyeshadow, to eyeshadow so your eyeshadow a is going to be um your outer shadow your outer 
outer eyelid shadow um your eyeshadow b is going to be your inner corner and um main lid eyeshadow and then you have eyelashes so for blush i'm actually going to move this up to 30 and So I'm just going to change the blush color a little bit. Um, I think there it's okay. And then for the lip color, I actually like it where it is, but I'm going to move that to 25. Lip highlight, I'm going to bring down to 50. And um, yeah, that looks good. For eyeshadow A, I'm actually going to go in with, um, I want to say the, a darker, not that dark, kind of a reddish. Yes, okay, that color. And I'm actually going to bring this down to 58. And then for eyeshadow B, I'm going to bring this down yes this color perfect and so it's kind of similar but you can see um this one is a little bit brighter or more pigmented and i'm also going to bring this down but to like 62 yes okay that looks great and then for the eyelashes i'm gonna make this a little bit darker sorry And I'm also going to bring up the opacity to 78. So, yeah. So, this is kind of what we're left with. And it actually looks great. I'm going to send this to my phone just to make sure that the um, opacity looks good on the phone as well. And, yeah, it looks great like this. So, actually, that was super quick and easy. That looks awesome. And now moving on to the next uh, technique that they have. So, like... If I turn them both on, it's going to look like I'm a crazy rocker, um, which you can actually incorporate both of them together. And I'll show you like a way that I do that. Um, but yes, yeah, so makeup with textures, if you click on the material, it only allows you to manipulate, manipulate the opacity. So if I were to open up one of these textures, you would you can see now that um, it's already colored so there are a uh, already has pigment um so this is going to be like if you were to draw it on photoshop or procreate and you were just to import it so um and ideally if you wanted to change like the shape of the contour but i really like this blush contour because it looks more like contour but if you want to change the shape of it you could make your own texture and then just replace this texture um in your resources panel so you would just like uh relink to new source but um yeah so I'm just going to play around with the settings until I kind of see what I like. Um, so like I said, this blush is awesome for contour. So what I would actually do is I would mix this blush with the blush from makeup masks as well. So I would just put this down to like 60. And then for the lips, I'm going to put it all the way down because um, really dark lips don't look that good on me. And I'm actually going to set it to 30 and that's okay. And then for eyeliner, I'm also going to bring this down because I want it to add to the smokiness. And for the eyeshadow, it's perfect. I actually love this color. And the opacity can actually go to 42. Um, yes. And wow, that was really simple. So this is a nice kind of neutral look. Um, but I'm going to mix both techniques together because I think that we can make something that looks really good. So I'm actually going to take what i like from each of them so like the eyeshadow i love the lips i think i prefer the other lip better the blush i'm gonna use as contour and the eyeliner i'm actually gonna leave because i do prefer prefer the mask the eyelashes so if i turn on the other one now um i'm just gonna select the ones that i want so for this one I'm going to remove eyeshadow B, which is the inner eyeshadow, and I'm going to keep the outer eyeshadow because I like the color that the blend of those two make. Lowering the opacity on this to 30. To 30. And I'm going to go back into the other one and also lower the eyeshadow to like 28. 
Yes. So I get this really pretty kind of um, eyeshadow color. I'm actually going to remove the lip highlight because I want it to be more neutral. So leave. I'm leaving the lip like this um, because I think this color with the eyeshadow looks great. For the blush, it looks awesome. So you get that defined contour and then you get the apples of your cheek kind of have this flush color. And for the eyelashes, I'm going to move this up to 80. And that's that's the look. Like, that was so simple. I'm going to go ahead and send this to my phone. And just going to check the opacity of some stuff. Oh my god, yes. This looks gorgeous. Um, Wow, I'm so, like thankful for this it literally is a 3d makeup helper like it helps and it doesn't take any time to learn this and to play with these settings and you can literally change these colors to whatever you want and it's just so helpful and i know when i had like i kind of had a hard time getting into um a lens studio because there really is no kind of uh makeup helping tool but now that they've created this 3d makeup helper i think it's gonna help a lot of people and i think it's gonna make it a lot more fun and yeah we're can't wait to see a bunch of great looks uh on snapchat using this tool and yeah if you guys w liked the tutorial and you want more just let me know in the comments um or let me know if you want a tutorial on anything specifically and yeah i'm gonna leave my links down below everything that you need to know and don't forget to subscribe because it really helps me out it lets me know that you guys want to see more from me. So yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.